Initially I tested my 3 metre glider wing on the Phoenix Evo body and it went pretty well but it really didn't have enough uh, rudder authority or, or directional stability so I decided to make um, another uh, dedicated fuselage uh, with a bigger rudder and a uh, little bit more length in the tail boom. So I'm using 3mm balsa and I'm going to make a, a pod. I had a 35, 36, 1400 kV prop drive motor which I bought for the XUAV1 and never used. Um, so that's going to be the power source. Uh, I'm sort of defining the width of the fuselage with uh, bulkheads and uh, pieces across the back there. And then I'm just um, boxing in the bottom with sort of uh, cross grain uh, balsa pieces and I just work down the length of the fuselage boxing it in like that. That gives it quite a lot of strength. Last piece into place. There's a mock-up of it. You can see the enormous wing. I, I bought that uh, carbon fibre tube from Carbon Fibre Australia. That's a 16 millimetre uh, woven carbon fibre tube for about 35 bucks. Now I'm gluing in some nuts for the uh, mounting the wing on top of the fuselage. This is sort of the gonna, going to be the strong point of the fuselage. Everything else hangs off this uh, piece of ply. It's about uh, two pieces of 3 mil ply laminated together. Now I'm making a bracket to hold the tail boom, that's just PVC uh, plumbing pipe. Heat it up, bend it into the shape that does the job. Ulch, ulch, nice and hot. And that will hold the tail boom onto that sort of central strong piece of ply, just with some little screws. It clamps down, it means I can adjust the angle of the tail boom, it means I can adjust the length of the tail boom too. And that just gets glued onto the top of the fuselage. There it is being clamped, leaving it to set. Now I cover the whole thing with um, reinforced tape and scotch tough tape and that sort of like fiberglassing it I suppose, just an easy, cheap and easy way to do that. That uh, adds a lot of strength. I've done that before on the Fusion uh, aerobatic sloper build and that's an uh, amazing amount of strength. Maximum current draw test and that was pulling more than 40 amps so I have to uh, limit the throttle on a curve. Don't need that much power anyway. Glued the uh, horizontal stabiliser and vertical stabiliser there, just 3mm um, balsa covered with iron on laminate. Servos on the tail because I don't like running uh, long push rods down to the tail. And just fitting it together checking the CG for the first time and that's very nice indeed. I can even move the battery back a little bit. Time to um, clamp it all together and take it for a fly. Finally I'm just checking the angle of incidence of the wing and I need to sort of chock up the back of the wing a little bit so they get zero zero incidence. And there's the finished product. Ended up weighing under 1600 grams with a 2200 milliamp hour battery which I'm very pleased with. I thought it was going to be up around the 2 kilogram mark. Let's go for a fly. It was too big to fit in the car, so I have to undo the bolts to get it in, but that's okay. It's a pretty easy job. This is the first plane I've had to put together to go flying. Because it don't fit. Look at that. What a glide. That's awesome. No dramas at all. Whoa. Power off. Hey, this looks great.
look at that. That's beautiful. That works nicely. I put some down thrust in the motor and that's really good. That's not going too high, too nose up under power at all. We're in some lift there. That is going up. Ooh, that's a big fella. 